up guys, Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. Um, I wanted to go into this particular article. I, I found it pretty interesting. Uh, let me say I hope everyone's doing well. And also, you know, of course, I'm not a financial analyst. These are just my opinions and uh, a bunch of me talking. So don't take anything I say as financial advice. Now, that being said, um, this article, like I said, found it very interesting. It says uh, XRP gets further push for adoption as cred rolls out USD loans collateralized by XRP. Now, I did speak about this before um, on uh, one of my other videos, just uh, when this first uh, kind of came to the forefront. Um, it it just piqued my interest. I, I think it's the, the, the main reason why is because of the ability to kind of get around the whole tax thing okay uh, now let me kind of try to explain why I like this initially I was kind of uh, just not good on it but the more I thought about it it like I said it seems a good way to 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 basically use your money without having to give away your money right because you know, with a loan, with in this type of loan, you're just putting your XRP up as collateral, and it, but it's still there. It's not sold out. You, st it's still there. You have the money, um, and um, uh, if if you go the other route, you sell out. Well, you're going to incur tax, and that money is gone, right? Like for uh, right forever, it's gone. So here, uh, Cred says. Now at Ripple, now Ripple customers have the ability, or rather the opportunity, to hold their XRP long term without the need to sell or incur tax. XRP hodlers can borrow as low as single digit interest rates when they visit mycred.io and click get early access. Okay. Um, so again, I mean, the, the, the very, um, uh, the very fact that they're charging you an interest rate. I mean, it could be a total wash. Uh, it's just that when I, I actually know, because if you get a, like a 9% interest rate, uh, that's a whole lot better than some of the rates that I've seen. Like uh, I think it's short term or short term and long term capital gains and all this other stuff. I mean, they're in the 20s, 20% uh, range. Uh, again, I mean, that's money that's really that's gone. So uh, doing it this way now I'm gonna kind of explain to you how I'm seeing it I could you know if I am incorrect please definitely correct me but the way I see it and we'll just use some simple numbers here uh, if XRP is at ten dollars you take a thousand dollar a thousand XRP and you go through this process with cred right um, you're gonna get ten thousand dollars six months later XRP is twenty dollars okay so now the same ten thousand dollars will you will only need 500 XRP to get that okay so uh, essentially depending on when you um, when you actually start the process you can effectively depending on how much XRP you have you can effectively uh, get your the amount of XRP you have to part with down to a very small amount and 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 never incur any taxes on it now again you're still talking about paying interest rates but I think the interest rate will be much better than the tax that you would have to pay on your money now again I could be looking at this totally wrong but uh, I can't see this, uh, you know, I can't see them offering something like this if it's actually going to be something worse than than the tax man coming, you know, coming and calling. So anyway, guys, just tell me what you think about it. Um, I, I and again, this is just something that piqued my interest. I wanted to bring it to you guys and just see what everyone thought about it. Um, if you have anything to say, I mean, absolutely be sure to put it down in the comments. and. Guys, if you have not done so, please subscribe, please like this video, hit that post notification button, make sure you come back and see me, take care of yourselves, and God bless.